Welcome back to Dee's and Saka's Adventures. Today we are going to do a sink or float experiment. You need three cups. David is going to write soap on one, oil on one, and water. You need soap, any kind of soap, oil, water from the sink, three balloons, and a marker. So go ahead, David. Um, so... Write water. Water is spelled W. Perfect. Next one. I'm going to do oil, and oil is O-I-L. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And the last one? Um, what's the last one? Soap. How would you spell it? S. Now what? S. O. O. A. A P. Perfect. All right. We are going to use the shower and fill each cup halfway. All right. So this is soap. So we're going to put water. So one just going to be plain water. And the we're just putting plain water in each cup. You will see what we're going to do next. Hold on. I made a mess. Okay, I want to see that the cups are pretty even. Oil has a little bit more than these two. Okay. And here's the marker. Okay, just sit down in front of it. All right, everybody. So we are gonna take the balloons and we're gonna fill it up with soap. So David, you're gonna pump soap in here. Will you keep it open? Yep. So show everybody I'm extending it. Just keep filling it. Keep go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. I think David probably did like 10 or 15 pumps. Okay, that should be good. So I am going to tie this. You're going to get a little dirty, so you might want to have a towel next to you or behind you to clean your hands or even wash your hands, because I smell like so. So that's our one with soap. David, you gotta be super nice with this one. Our oil, I'm gonna extend it. Do you think you can pour the oil? I don't think you could extend it, buddy. Okay. okay. So just do a little bit, and I'll tell you when to set. Go. Okay, set. Okay. Sounds like I got you dirty. It's okay. All right, you could add a little bit more in there. Just a little bit. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, stop. Oh. Sorry about that's that. That's all right. It's just harder to close the balloon, that's all. And everybody, this is where we're gonna need an emergency towel. And accidents do happen, so just wipe off your balloon as good as you can and just tie it. Now what I'm gonna do with the water one is we're gonna walk over to the sink Let's close our oil before I make a bigger mess. All right. We're gonna walk over to the sink. And we're literally just gonna open the, we're gonna try and extend it over. Ooh, ooh. And add like some water that? and we're good. All right, now we're gonna head over to the bathtub we was trying to do it in the bathtub so there's less um, mess if we do make a mess. All right, so here we go. David. Yes? I want you to tell me your prediction. Is the water, with the water, going to sink or float? I think maybe float is its water. Okay, let's see. You need to scooch back a little bit. All right, here we go. Drum roll. And this is the water? Water and water. And it, I think it's gonna float. Go. It floated? It's floating. Okay. Subscribers, it's floating. All right. I don't think what I do think we think, think soap think. and water, David? I um, think because it's lighter. 
Let's see, subscribers, what do you think? Sink? Yeah, I think it might float. Go. It floated. Can I try it again? Go ahead. It floated. It floated. Now oil. I All right, now we got thing. oil. Is it going to sink or float, David? I think sink for sure. Sink? All right, I say sink to subscribers. All right, here we go. Ah, that sink, that didn't sink. So they all floated. All right, everybody, this is just a cool experiment that you could do with things that you have around the house, in the bathtub, on the floor, in the sink. We were just trying to keep the mess a little bit minimal. So that's why we did it in the bathtub. Please follow Dees and Saka's adventures and remember to subscribe.